and then this is what's on the inside. Hello my Hello Kitty fans, this is Hello Gabius and welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that bell notification and like this video. In today's video, so exciting, I got the June Boxu Hello Kitty box and I just posted a quick clip on TikTok. And let me just say that I love that it's in this plastic wrapping because for the price of this subscription box, I like that they take the extra step to actually wrap it for you because it's gonna get really nasty on route for sure. So I absolutely love that they did that. So I'm gonna open it up. And I also like that they're including like this banner for each box, very specific. You know that it's Hello Kitty, you know that it's Box Sue. So this one says it is the Okinawa Beach Party Box. Ooh, best flavors for the best of friends. So I can't wait. Uh, like all other videos or other unboxings, I don't like to see other videos of the unboxing because I want to be totally surprised. Now it is a small box. It's, it's okay. If it's going to be specific to Sanrio, to Hello Kitty, I am okay with that. So taking off this banner nice and clean because of that plastic wrapping. Totally love that because these are definite keepsakes for me. And so here we are. The, this is the same image as the first box. Again, nice and clean. We see all the Sanrio gang here. Very cool. So let's open it up. I'm going to try not to make this video a long video. I will try my best. But let me just show you how beautiful is this. I really love the interior of this box of box delicious snacks for delightful times this is what's on the inside of the box so let's go ahead and get started first item is the brochure and it says okinawa beach party how awesome volume two these are also definite keepsakes and so it is telling you what you're going to get Ooh. I can't wait to see what the actual uh, keepsake is. And I understand that these snacks are not going to be as sweet as I normally like them to be. Uh, Japanese snacks are a very light tasting sweet snack. So cool. So um, each snack uh, pertains to one of the Sanrio characters and it does tell you what it's best with. Of course, tells you nutrition information, which is great. Um, so that is what we have. So let's see how many snacks we actually have with the Sanrio wrapping. Because that is what I like to look for. So this is a beautiful little brochure here. I'm going to put that aside. We now get a postcard. And it does say, Hi Beach Buddy. And it says, Don't forget, this is just the beginning. There are many more delightful adventures with Hello Kitty and Boxu coming soon. One sneak peek for you. We plan to soon launch a members only marketplace for limited Hello Kitty drops. Ooh, I'll definitely be looking out for that because what I am looking for is uh, items that are unique and so not necessarily something I can just buy off the internet uh, just like everybody else but something very very unique not something that I've seen over and over again cool Ooh, so it looks like we have another coaster we did get a coaster uh, last box as well but I do like this light blue theme very beachy theme very Okinawa Beach party theme so we do have a paper coaster and we also have an awesome sticker and this is so cute uh, so they're definitely here at the beach enjoying 
a good time. So we have a cool sticker, paper coaster. Ooh. So let's start off with this awesome, uh, I don't know, cookie. It says Hello Kitty Bomb Kitchen. So it's chocolate flavor. Love the packaging. Very clean packaging. So here it does say it's a 2019. So just like I ran across the other cookie for my Melody, I was questioning how fresh the item was. And the my Melody cookie was like 10 years old, I think. I didn't like that very much. After verifying with Boxu, they said, no, no, it's not 10 years old. It's a fresh item. So, okay, because what I look for is here, guys, the dates here. And this clearly, again, states that it's a 2019 item. So, anyways, it could be just the packaging is 2019, but the actual um, item, the edible item, may be something that is not as old. And unfortunately, because I cannot see, I cannot read Japanese, it's very hard for me to tell. Nevertheless, it looks like it's like a paper or like a tape kind of a pastry. So it does feel very squishy. So what I was going to say was that even though the packaging is dated 2019, this is separate from the packaging. This may be hopefully at least 2022. But let's open it up and see. And mm, it's like a cake. It's like if you have a cake uh, as, as a tape, or it looks like as it's a, a tape. It smells very chocolatey. Mm. It's very soft. This is definitely not 2019, guys. This is this is fresh. But it's very soft, light tasting chocolate, which I knew not going to be that powerful but it's really good guys great for coffee second item of the packaging some candy so this is hard candy and this says it's a fizzy ramen and so if i go back to my brochure and look for the items that I grab to open. It's gonna give me a little bit more information. So for example, the one I just opened up, like I said, it is a cake. To me, it looked like a cake that looked like tape. This is the info for that item now for this hard candy. So here it says it's a Boxu exclusive. And the only way to get this item is to join the Hello Kitty Beach Party um, Boxu Box. It says it's a fizzy candy, so that's interesting. So let's take a look. It does have a Ziploc closure. really like that. And the candies are basically round, hard candy, typical candy. And very light tasting. It says it's sweet. I'm trying to to get the specific flavor, but here under flavor it just says sweet. It doesn't say like blueberry or hmm. I haven't gotten the fizzy yet. Oh yeah, it's very light fizzy. Not that much, but still very light tasting hard candy. So cool for our second snack. Ooh, a third snack, oh no, she came broken. I see it's a Hello Kitty cookie. And this is a Hello Kitty sable buttery cookie with tea or coffee. And it just says that the flavor is sweet. So let's open it up. Like I said, unfortunately, it did come broken. And you can kind of see the imprint on here. 
Mmm. It's so good. It's so fresh. I'm going to be making such a mess here. But that was really, really good. A hint of sweetness, I swear. And that, it's a very, very good cookie. Next item, authentic Japanese rice crackers. And it has black sesame feed on it. And this one says that it's a savory snack. So it's not sweet snack, but savory. Um, and that's pretty much all. So it's just a, it looks like it's just like a one cracker, but it looks like it's a chunky cracker. So let's open it up and see. And again, I do love this kind of packaging because you do see hello kitty and that is the window for the product inside so when i open it it's a very chunky rice cracker for sure all in one piece very fresh mm, smells really good mm very crunchy but savory it has a great flavor to it mm, really really good so far so good guys i've not been disappointed so let's see what this is now this does not have any sanrio hello kitty decoration on the packaging last video i said that i wish they would include all of the items for boxu to have an actual hello kitty image a sanrio image someone sanrio and friends someone um because i mean you're buying a hello kitty subscription box okay so these are the kumamoto watermelon gummies yep and they're meant to be sweet so let's open it up it does have that zipper that ziplock closure which i like and this is what they look like little gumdrops smell really good mm, very soft mm -hmm. very light tasting but you can taste the watermelon mm, it just melts in your mouth and this is a batsu uh, pairing so they pair these gummies with that's my root beach bites really cool so let's see our next item pistachio cookies and pistachio cookies are a koropi pairing and they are sweet they send two of them i'm gonna open one Again, no sign real image whatsoever. And this is what the cookie looks like. Mmm. Oh my gosh. It is really good. It says it's chewy. I don't think it's that chewy because it just melts in your mouth. They say nutty aroma and gentle sweetness gentle is definitely it because it just melts in your mouth so good i mean it, they don't they just have a slight sweetness like i said but i can see this being satisfying so okay next item Ooh. so these are whistle candy hmm and you get a lot of them i really love the packaging looks like for valentine's And these are just hard candies. And I mean, honestly, this just reminds me of like lifesavers, lifesavers candies. That's what it reminds me of. And I think these are stickers in the back. Let's see, are they? They look like they may be stickers. Yeah, they are stickers. Cool, so behind the packaging, the label we have five stickers and so this is definitely a valentine's theme candy oh let me see this is a sticker too awesome 
I really like it. Okay, so this is a Hello Kitty Ramoon snack. And it says it's citrus flavors. And this is supposed to be like another hard candy. Tastes like Ramoon. Not sure what that means. A traditional Japanese soft drink that's perfect for hot summer days. So, yeah, it's like a... Like one of those hard lightsaber snacks is what this is. So cool. Love the packaging and the stickers. Our next item we get two. And these triangular little uh, pillows are, it says here they are Hello Kitty strawberry did you chocolate. So on the picture, there's like a lot of little balls. These are a sweet snack. And I am wondering, um, so it's a strawberry, definitely strawberry flavor and chocolate pearls coated in a crispy pink shell. So I think I know what these are going to um, taste like because it's reminded me of, oh my God, these are tiny. They look like tiny little caviar snacks. Look how tiny that is. Okay, so I want to try a few. Mm hmm When you bite on one, you get that chocolate and strawberry. I was trying to squeeze it in my fingers and I can't. Oh, yeah. I was trying to open one up uh, so you can see, but that's kind of what it looks like inside doesn't um, look like chocolate, but it definitely tastes like strawberry and like chocolate. Okay. So that is this snack. Okay. Next item, two cookies with an actual imprint. Ooh, and this is a Hello Kitty pairing. And this is a Yokohama sandwich cookie. It is a sweet snack it's a luscious buttercream sandwich between these biscuits hmm interesting that they say buttercream because i don't know if their version of buttercream is the same as my version and i seriously doubt that it is but there is no hello kitty image on it or anything like that um it is a very pretty image though on the cookie looks like a field And it's a sandwich cookie. Mm. Very light tasting. Um, don't call it buttercream because it's definitely not. Um, I could barely taste the sweetness. Still very good. Still very fresh. Um, <laughs> but not buttercream for sure. Okay. Now on our next, ooh, so this looks like the same packaging as um, a previous, like a coffee cake from the previous box. The Benimo Junsuko sweet snack. It's a cookie. Um, it's a flavored with Beninjimo purple jam and Okinawa superfood. Okay, let's see. It's just a really small cookie. I mean, the cookie is like, look at the size of my cookie. So, mm. very good. Again, light tasting you got to tell me what the flavor is if not i'm not gonna know because the sweetness is barely there but that's what these snacks are but still it's good so let's move on okay next are looks like green like if they fried up some green peas or something and they frosted them these are a Denruko Mommy Black Sesame. These are a sweet snack. And these are supposed to be peanuts coated in sesame flavored sugar. 
interesting. So we get two little packages. Let's try one. So they look like they're nice and frosted. So there's supposed to be a peanut inside. Mm -hmm. These um, taste actually just like mm, like mix a Mexican candy. It's like peanuts or cacahuates, and they're coated. And that's what these taste like exactly. Mm. It's so good, so 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 good though. So that's a win. It doesn't have any Sanrio Hello Kitty image on it, but still a good snack. Next item is a Kumbate Kumachi Mochi. So they're mochis and they're sweet flavored. And um, let's see how this tastes. So I'm assuming lack of my knowledge that it's just gonna be two two jumbo gummies honestly that's what they kind of feel like so we have a pink one and then a like a very light uh green one so let's do this green one i mean look at how squishy this is so it's a mochi. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mochi, if I'm if I'm not mistaken, it's like a cooked uh, rice flour. And you can taste that. It, you can taste the difference between it's not a gummy, it's a mochi. And you can taste it. I can't really taste what it's supposed to taste like. It just says flavor sweet. It is sweet, um, but their level of sweetness. Good though. Very fresh. Ooh, so here we have some, looks like some wafer cookies maybe. Lemon for sure for the packaging. Ooh, so these are the Satoshi Lemon Pie sweet flavor they're heart-shaped pies dusted with lemony sugar cool and there's eight of them according to the packaging um they're gonna make a mess i already know and uh again no image of hello kitty or sanrio so let's open this up And it comes like in a little container with individual cookies. Some are already broken, uh, but they're individually wrapped, which is okay. Open one just very lightly. And this is the cookie. Mm. it's a good cookie but i gotta be honest with you um i don't taste any lemon i think they forgot to add the lemon flavor um it smells like it and i kind of want to taste the lemon but i think i'm just smelling it but not tasting it it's a very dry cookie um so not my favorite but at least it's fresh Okay, so now, ooh, so off the bat, pure potatoes. These are potato chips. It says it right there. No Sanrio or Hello Kitty image on this. Let me read up about it and see what else it tells me. So these are the pure potato chips. Hot sea salt. They're savory. Um, obviously perfect for the beach so let's open up some potatoes very curious these kind of feel like the um, Pringles 
that kind of potato. Mm -hmm. Good. Um, I can definitely use a dip with this. They're a little harder than what a Pringle uh, would be. But it's good. Fresh. So I'm, I'm just glad that the items are fresh. And um, the flavor, that's just the level of sweetness or savory that Japanese snacks are. It's still very good. Okay. Ooh. So now this is what we have left in our box. And I'm thinking that we are now to our collectible item. So it looks like it's a tote bag. And my booklet is full of cookie crumbs. I'm going to try to look up exactly what they're giving us. Mm. So it says it's a Hello Kitty Friends Insulated Beach Bag Cooler. So that's what this is. This is a cooler. And uh, that's very interesting. Hand wash only. So let's open this up and see. It's a very small bag. Very small. It does have the Hello Kitty and Sanrio Friends. It does say Boxu in the middle. It's like a mint green on the side. Handles are also mint green. Um, you get a pocket. Don't know what that says. Zipper closure and you do see inside uh, you can put drinks, your lunch, your whatever. Another mesh pocket inside. Okay. And then this is the label. And it might say lunch bag. And then in the back, I do like that they at least included uh, Hello Kitty and Friends and the Sanrio item in the back, hand wash only. So that is it for my June Boxu Hello Kitty box. It was a very small box. Um, so what do I think? I want to say that... Um, like I've said it throughout the video that I want to see images on the packaging because I want everything to have a Hello Kitty or a Sanrio and Friends image on it. That's what I want. That's what I thought I was paying for. Um, I really like this aesthetic because you do see Hello Kitty and she's actually the window of what's inside the snack. So I'm not putting down the level of sweetness or the savory for the snacks because that is what the Japanese sweet snacks taste like. They're not at my level of sweetness and I totally get that. That is not what I'm, what I mean. What I mean is um, uh, they're at least fresh and that's what I like. But as far as the packaging, this is what I want to see. This kind of packaging. I want to see Hello Kitty and Sunroom and Friends jumping everywhere out of the box like this. That's what I want to see, like this. That's what I want to see. Um, but um, I don't know, maybe they can improve in that. Uh, and maybe they're not finding variety of snacks that actually have Sanrio images. So, um, I mean, come on. That, that's, that's just my opinion. That's what I'm looking for, for this box. As far as the tangible item, it is a cooler which goes with the beach theme it is summer um however i don't want another uh lunch bag that i may or may not use because i already have lots of lunch bags uh, of hello kitty too but what i wanted to see was like on the very first box they gave you like a little uh teacup and saucer they didn't match but still that's what i want to see that's what i want to get uniqueness out of this box so although the snacks are going to go away they're going to be eaten but what i wanted to see was uniqueness of the tangible items so to me this is um i think they could have done better for sure so i am a little disappointed on this little beach bag because these could be what a dollar each you know in mass production 
Um, so I don't like that. And um, let me know what you think. Am I really being harsh to Baksu? Um, but um, with the price that I'm paying, that is what I want to see from a specific uh, Hello Kitty and Baksu subscription box. So let me know what you think. Give me your comments and your suggestions. Give me your thoughts on the June Baksu Hello Kitty box. And for next month or for next box, it does say that you are invited to another Hello Kitty hangout in August. Your tummy won't be the only thing that's full this evening. Okay, that's cute. I do love though, I do love these magazines that they include. This brochure that tells you, gives you info on all of the items that you're getting. I really like this because this is definitely a keepsake for me and that it gives you a hint on what the next box is going to be. So next box is going to be in August. So can't wait for that. And I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give this video a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that bell notification to notify you of when I upload a new Hello Kitty video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.